Hi, it's me, Kevin Du. Welcome to my channel. After reaching 100 subscribers recently, I thought, not only because of recent input, to make a Minecraft related special video. Furthermore, after some brainstorming, I tried to do more frequent uploads starting with this week, with my goal being one video per week. But that's enough with future plans. Let's move over to the main content. Minecraft is a game about blocks, and there are many of them. Great creations can be built within this game, but they are still within a virtual environment. With a 3D printer, this changes, as real objects can be created out of your Minecraft builds. To get started, I will focus on some already existing structure. The village. The building I am going to focus on is the small hut. As it's relatively small, it's particularly good for the first trial, because the print takes only a few hours instead of days. After some exploring, the perfect building has been found. I remove the windows as I want to be able to see the table inside through the windows. After saving the world, I open a program called Mineways, which allows you to export parts of the Minecraft world to object files. After loading my super flat world and centering the map on the player's position, I zoom in all the way to see the village in details. Holding the right mouse button down, I select the area I want to export, which is the small house, including the path as well as one block around at every side. The program automatically warns you that the correct height selection, as seen in the top two sliders, won't include the village and automatically corrects it for you. The user can now adapt the maximum and minimum export height with the use of the name sliders. After my selection is fine, I tried the export for 3D printing option as it seemed like the most obvious one, but avoided the fill air bubbles checkbox as I want to be able to see the inside, resulting in only mere success as all details of the blocks will be lost. But I don't give up. Therefore, I used the export for rendering option. For some reason, an .sdl file exported with this option was always corrupt, so I made use of the .obj format. Again, I don't want to fill the air bubbles. After the rotation is applied, a scale of 750% seems to fit my imagination, but there are some problems. First, the door is solid, and second, the road is not properly mapped. So I went back into Minecraft to clear this up. I removed the door and saved the world again. In mine ways, I reloaded the world and exported the file. As the door is now removed, you are now able to look inside the house from the front as well. And the path issue, it just couldn't be fixed with Cura's mesh fix option. So I booted up Tinkercad and imported the model with the same scale. And surprisingly, Tinkercad has the same problem as Cura, so it's probably the fault of mine ways. After rotating and positioning the models, I simply added a box over the whole bath area to fix this problem. Then I also added the roof inside to allow for easier printing. But the method I used for doing this is surely not the best. Anyways, the result is important. And back in Cura. After the model is now more or less alright, I adapted the wall thickness and the orientation of the top bottom lines, speed, infill and support. In the end, I should have used lines as the support pattern, as the zigzag support pattern doesn't really like to be removed. But anyways, let's start printing. I printed this model using white PLA by Prima Value, which is the only PLA I have that warps badly when printed on a heated bed. Therefore, I turned it off by setting it to 30 degrees Celsius in Cura before. And although Cura says that the print will finish within 3 hours, it turned out to be more like 3 and a half. The model came out relatively nicely, and thanks to the adaptions from before, the roof printed perfectly, and to be honest, nobody is ever going to notice that there was an edit. But the zigzag support button was a real problem. When getting it off from areas like the light post, I broke off the whole thing just to get the support off, which I needed to stick back on using some glue then. And at the table, I wasn't really able to remove all of the support, with some of it is still left and looking ugly. 
conclude this video, I can encourage you trying to print some Minecraft by yourself, as the experience is worth it. I will definitely go on and print some more. By the way, the model from this video is published on Singleverse, with the link being down in the video description. Furthermore, I want to hear your feedback on this video. If you liked it, make sure to show me, and if you have any suggestion on what I should try out, feel free to leave your ideas in the comments section. Thank you guys for 100 subscribers and especially watching this video and I'd love to see you again in my next one. Have a nice day.